What's up, YouTube? This is Rebecca the Diva coming to you with another video. Before I get this video, hey, won't you consider joining the family if you have not already done so? Go right on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, please select the notification bell that's right beside it and select all. Therefore, every time I upload, if YouTube is not bugging the tripping, tripping the bugging, you'll get notified. Go right on ahead and hit that share button because sharing is caring. We have no secrets over here in this channel. That's right. No, we tell everything. And I do mean everything. And hit that like button because I'm a whole vibe. You're going to like me. Um, for everybody else, welcome back, Diva Gang. All my A1s from day ones. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the support. Please don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to share this video with somebody, anybody. I don't care. Um, good morning, y'all. It is. 10:53 my time in the morning it's monday morning monday the 22nd um i am exhausted yesterday like i've been processing orders all weekend long um so i had a wholesale order that was a big order because this was one of my repeat customers and she normally just orders like one case of body butter which is like 24 eight ounce jars but this time she ordered two one of the cases are, are going to be easy because it's just she wanted 24 unscented so that means i don't have to put any flavoring in it or fragrance in it i don't have to put any um coloring in it but one of the batches she wanted a variety of different ones so she ordered three cotton candy three pina colada um six berries six pink sugar and six peppermint so, yeah, that's a lot of melting and cooling off and then mixing and then pouring in the coloring and pouring in the, the fragrance. I did that until I got to my last six, I'm, which was the um, pink sugar. Oh, my God. I was so exhausted. It was like I looked at my clock. It was like 11.08, and I was just tired. I was like, okay, I can't do no more. These last little six gonna have to be done tomorrow morning. So that's what I did. I got up this morning. I melted down my butters and oil. Then, um, freaking, it's chilling now in the freezer. So I'm about to take it out in about five more minutes so I can start the mixing, add my coloring and fragrance in it. And hopefully that'll be it for that. I can get that. Um, get my postage on that so that can be hopefully the mailman will be here he be coming early sometimes so I hope by the time I get this done that he ain't come yet but if not I probably won't ship it off till tomorrow and then her other one probably won't be shipped off till like Wednesday or Friday I am like behind I'm running out of products and it's like I hate buying my supplies that I use to make certain stuff with in bulk because when I do that I jinx myself it never fucking fails like I'll buy 10 pounds of shea butter and then i'll be sitting up here with nobody buying buying my body butters so now it's just like i buy it as i need it and it's two to three days processing time on my website so people need to take heed in that and also another thing i have to stop myself from doing is like as soon as i get an order i like to process it and then sometimes it takes a couple of days for me to get my payment like all of my payments go to my cash app card now um, so normally if you order something between, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I get the money normally that night or the next morning. But if you order something on Friday, I don't get the money until like that Tuesday. So, yeah, I like to have my money for that product in hand before I go out and purchase more merchandise. But that's that. I'll get into that a whole nother day. If y'all want an entrepreneur video on how I really run my business then just drop it down in the comments and I'll be glad to do a video like that for you guys for all you um entrepreneurs out there and future entrepreneurs just let me know um the video that I posted yesterday what had happened was the ending part of the video was gone it was only like maybe a minute or two left of that video because I was talking about pig pen but y'all know I don't fuck with her like that because she's just gross um I didn't really say nothing too much. What had happened was that I was uploading the video at first. And my computer restarted for some reason. And then when I came back to see what had processed. I guess that video had already saved to my computer. 
but then my software asked me did I want to replace or continue so I said I, I press continue but when I went to upload it to YouTube there was two videos up there and I just chose one because I was busy making products so I was like okay I'm trying to kill three birds with eight stones <laughs> and it's like oh my god um but hopefully this video will upload just fine um I'm gonna get right into it because this is gonna be a reaction video um Jasmine yesterday posted part one of her birthing vlog um and she also for those of you who are not aware she posted something about 20 minutes to 30 minutes ago an update she posted this morning on Instagram that she was headed to the ER she had to go to the ER basically because she was having trouble breathing I guess her mommy posted pray for her daughter she's back in the hospital so since her mother posted that she was like well let me let the people know what's going on so she um posted here on YouTube stating that she was having a lot of pain, um, like chest pain. She's like basically up underneath her rib area and trouble breathing. Like every time she tried to lay down or whatever. So she just was like, let me just go on to the hospital. Chris told her to go head on um, to the back to the hospital to get checked out. So she has postpartum preeclampsia. Now I'm going to say this. All in videos, we saw her going backwards and forwards to the hospital having NSTs done. She probably was suffering from preeclampsia, but she did not want to say that on her on her channel or whatever because she know people have been telling her from, from the time she announced her pregnancy that you need to take care of yourself. You need to stop eating so many salty fried foods and all of that stuff. Remember the beginning of the pregnancy, her feet was swelling up really bad. She was just always, you know, swollen because she probably had high blood pressure she's probably had high blood pressure preeclampsia her whole pregnancy you know and it just there is such a thing she says she's never heard of it but yeah there is such a thing as pre postpartum preeclampsia some women get it some women don't there's this one lady um family channel um bossy's life um b-a-s-i-e life She's a family channel. She's married. She has, I think she just gave birth to her sixth child a year ago. Her her youngest should be like a year and a half. Because she had her baby in August. And my granddaughter was born in August. So my granddaughter was like 15 months. So yeah, her baby should be like a year and a half. But she had um, postpartum preeclampsia. Pre you know, after she had like a few days after she had her baby, she, um was back in the hospital with the with the postpartum preeclampsia um and i think she was able to have her baby there with her so if anything jasmine should ask them can the baby come up there with her unless she's just really not able to care for the child you know because she can go straight to anti antipartum um antipartum was in a or postpartum she had, they can put her in postpartum um, the postpartum section of the um, hospital uh, and she can um, have the baby with her but she says Chris is at home with all of the kids and she hopes somebody reaches out you know to help him because whoo the twins alone is a, is a lot of hard work and then with the two older girls always fussing and fighting with one another I mean, and then the newborn, the newborn is, 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 you know, a couple of days old, is not easy to take care of. I mean, they are, but, you know, for a man, it's way different. Because with us, you know, we have our baby, we're going to just be in the bed sleeping or whatever, or trying to get as much rest. And if you're breastfeeding, just pull out your boob and, you know, feed or get up every couple of hours and make a bottle. It's not rocket science, but... He should hopefully somebody will come over there and help him, you know, because the sister is, her sister-in-law was over there making chicken wings and shit, <laughs> which she should not have been eating, you know, because I think Jasmine knows she suffers from high blood pressure. She just, like I said, she's just keeping it a secret. It is what it is, but some things, especially when you're a social media 
um, influence or some things it's best that you just put out there like that in case of something like this that happens because see you didn't have your baby now you're back in the hospital away from your baby and your other four children so anyways her birthing vlog she needs to like I said all the secrets and the lies that she's telling she needs to stop because the math is not mathing now, if y'all go back 10, about 10 days ago, 10, 11 days ago, two weeks ago, when she did that um, clothing haul, she was 37 weeks pregnant. That's what the thing said, 37. So, how was you 37 weeks pregnant back two weeks ago, but 37 weeks going into labor having a baby? Like, the math ain't math and sis, come on. Just be honest. Because I think what it is, is she lied to her man about probably taking birth control or whatever or when her period was on knowing that well she did not have a period and she was pregnant she probably knew right away as soon as she missed that first period she probably knew that she was pregnant she didn't tell her man that because she knew what her man said he didn't want no kids by her or any other but any other bitch for that matter you know what i'm saying so she she throwing off that date to cover up the fact that she she been pregnant and she knew she was pregnant and it's sad like girl grow up and stop trying to trap these niggas out here this is the reason why single bitches like me can't find a nigga because y'all bitches like her play games with these men so now they scared they all scared i'm just kidding um yeah so she was vlogging i guess she was going in for a doctor's appointment now she said her water broke that night and she kept getting up to pee Why does girl keep acting like this her first baby? I don't get that. It's like you've been pregnant three times and you have four children. So you know what it's like to have your water break. And you know once that water starts to break. You know some women's water just goes. And then some women water don't break at all they have to break the water in the hospital and then some women's water trickles out now with my first baby my firstborn I started getting contractions and then it was like I was getting pains that night and I ignored it the next one I got up I was getting I kept getting pains and they were coming like closer together so my mother said well go ahead on and time them and if they keep coming like that y'all need to go on to get to the hospital so that's what I did and then me and my sister got on the bus because I was in New York City at the time so yes I got on the bus and went to the hospital and they broke my water didn't break but I was in active labor so they broke my water I was there maybe about six seven hours and then they finally broke my water to help me um dilate faster with my second one, I was with the toddler, the first one, and the toddler, I was trying to put her down for a nap, and she would nap. So I read her a book, and then she wasn't really listening. She wanted the book in her hand, so I gave her the book, and I gave her the book, the little evil bitch threw a motherfucking book. <laughs> and I bent down to pick it up, and when I bent down, psh, like all my water just broke. And I was eight days early. With my third one, my son, I was sitting at the computer and I've been sitting there for a minute. And I felt just, I felt like I was peeing on myself. So I was like, what the hell? So I got up and went to the bathroom and I, I, I did pee because some, a lot of fluid came out, which I knew it was pee. But then after the fact, I wiped myself and then the water just kept still like coming out, coming out, coming out. So I was like, I think my water broke. And I was 30 six weeks yeah I was 36 weeks because he was born like my due date was December the 29th of 2004 I had him on my birthday November the 29th 2004 and it was like early it was like maybe 11 or 12 in the afternoon like it was early part of the morning of the afternoon <coughs> um and with my baby girl I was just ready I was two days late 
okay my due date was the 17th which March 17th was the St. Patrick's Day and it was like the 19th it was early that morning so all that night before I was doing I was googling how to make yourself go into labor um I tried having sex I was trying hot baths I was trying everything and then I read what says nipple stimulation so I was stimulating my nipples and stuff and early early that morning it must have been like maybe four in the morning I felt a pop in my sleep and I'm like what the fuck was that so I got up and I felt the urge to pee so I got up and went to the bathroom and I'm sitting there and I'm half sleep mind you and it just trickle 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 I was like damn my water broke but I'm sleepy now I don't want to go to the hospital <laughs> and be plugged up to shit so it kept on trickling so I put a pad there sanitary napkin there and then went on to the hospital so why is she playing deaf, dumb, and blind? I don't see no evil, hear no evil, I don't know nothing. It's my first baby. No, bitch, come on. Like, you know, after you had your first kid, you know that feeling when that water, that little trickle keeps coming out. Tricking. When she when she got to the hospital, her she said her fluid was really low. So that means you've been passing a lot of fluid. Okay, you've been passing a lot of fluid. So, girl, bye. Then, of course, um, Chris made his appearance, and he was there, but then he wasn't there, and then he was there, and then he wasn't there, and he's going to check on the dog. So, out of all his peoples that he know, okay, the homeboys, y'all got neighbors, you couldn't reach out to your next door neighbor and say, hey, can you watch my dog for me? Because I'm for sure you probably live in a palm-colored area. And they love helping out the colored folk, okay? <laughs> so you could reach out to somebody and say, hey, watch the dog. Because I'd be damned if I'm going into fucking labor and my boyfriend, husband, whoever the fuck he is, is going from my house to go check on, from the hospital to go check on some fucking dog. Yeah, I love my animals and everything, but guess what? You, you could have set all of that up before like she literally was not ready for anything she didn't have her bag she didn't have the baby's bed the kids stuff wasn't ready when you get into like your last week of pregnancy when you know you have that due date like if your due date is let's say december the 20th two to three weeks before that december even get here you need to have everything prepared you knew you was having this baby i think it's just like in the way she was sounding i think just reality set in for her and she probably was just stalling for time you know she knew that this baby got to eventually come out you know and she just basically just in denial i think she at the end of it she probably just in denial like damn i'm gonna have fucking five kids and it's like her relationship is not a solid stable relationship because if it was this man would have gotten down on his knees and proposed to this woman and my whole thing is Go to the courthouse, get married, make it legal. If you're single without a husband, and he's single without a wife, ain't nobody got no exes, ex-husbands or wives lingering around, then what's, what's, what's keeping you from getting married? Because you always bay this and bay that and bay this and bay that, so they need to fucking marry your ass. I mean, it's, people like her just are ridiculous to me. But yeah, she wasn't prepared, and then... Um, she got there and she was all hooked up to everything and they were giving her the fluids and then I think she had to, she eventually got the Pitocin because I guess she wasn't progressing along as she should have. So that in, in the hospital, we call that the beast, you know. So if anybody's gotten Pitocin before, you know, you get that Pitocin. About 20, 30 minutes later, after that bitch kicked in, them, them contractions are boom, 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 boom. Like, we call that the beast. Because that shit, it works. So, and she went, I think, from 3 centimeters to 6 centimeters really quick, fast. So, it was like, okay, you need to call dad and tell dad to come on back to the hospital. And the baby was born, supposedly on the 16th. But who knows with her, because she lies so much trying to cover shit up. The baby could have been born last week for all we know, you know, before the 15th or the 16th. But 
she says she's gonna do a part two and then the face she was supposed to do the face reveal the name reveal of the baby but she said all of that's now on her computer back at home and she's in the hospital she said she'll be there for a couple of days hopefully she'll be able to get out you know at least by thanksgiving i don't feel sorry for her because my whole thing is Having a baby is not an easy thing. And the older you get, the more difficult that shit is. Like, seriously. And and when you've had a lot of kids back to back to back, you know, that makes a lot of wear and tear on your body. Like, a lot of people don't really understand this or even know this. But it's a proven medical fact that it takes a woman's insides to two years to 100 percent 18 to 24 months to 100 percent heal from giving birth to a child so imagine all those women that just keep spitting babies out back to 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 back how much damage you're doing to your body let alone knocking your walls loose and y'all know what i'm talking about too um I don't know. I got four kids. And my kids are very well spayed. Like, I had them first two up underneath. They're like 20 months apart, my first two. Never again in my life was I ever going to do such a motherfucking thing. Like, my oldest is, between my oldest and my youngest, there's a 12-year difference, okay? <laughs> like, my oldest is going to be 25 next week, and my youngest is 13. So, we're not, I know, and between the two that's here, there's a 4-year difference, okay? With the, the fuck, I, I think the fuck not. You got me crazy. Kiss my ass. All these damn kids, back to back to back to back to back. And to me, I have a lot of kids. Four kids to me is a lot, because I only wanted one. <laughs> You know, now I do, I had did want another one, but I was, in my mental mind, I was like, the only way I would ever have another child is if I was legally married to the father. That's it, that's all, like, mm, -mm. but I'm 50, I'm just going to live curiously through my granddaughter <laughs> and leave it at that, you know, my baby making days hopefully are over, you know. It is what it is. I just at the end of this, I'm going to wrap this video because I got a lot of work to do. But I just want to send prayers out to Jasmine, and I hope this is a wake up call for her to seriously change her diet. Number one, stop using so much sodium and salt, and get your life together. You know, it's more to life than having babies and putting trauma to your body. It is what it is. But that's all I have to say. Like I said, I got tons more orders to fill, and I'm tired, but I have to keep press, pressing on. It is what it is. I gotta make this money. I'll be back, y'all, with more videos. Until next time, bye.